The following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning, small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time, boom 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 time. Yeah man, yeah man, yes. Yes, Purple Nation, me I tell you, yes, episode 46, we there now, yeah man, I think we name Warlord, no business, <laughs> me I tell you, it rough, boy, bounty, boy, me I tell you, Rasta, me I tell you, Vladimir Putin, so if you tell us right now, he's the killer, you have to just go and hold on for the Rodney a little bit, <laughs> I go and work with that Rasta, because, boy, I go and with some serious things, you know, yeah man, the man attack Ukraine. This religious war, you are going away, brethren. But this is not a religious war, my brother. I don't get what I don't see what you're getting at. Where I say, brethren, me not tell you already. So capitalism is the biggest religion. God is money, and, and the church at the bank. And that religion of the most convert. Every conflict in the earth is in some way connected to this religion. Russia and America, let me tell you, man, are just two different denominations. Under the same religion, Rasta, money and power, endless competition over who for cocky longer. Just a call up one another, fight for your number one that do exist. But my brother, the actions and the actions of, of, of Vladimir Putin should be condemned. Yeah, man, one hundred percent. But we could talk about that when I went forward after the break, Rasta, because we are telling us the right now. This is another situation where it's not as simple as how it look, Bridget. I be tell you, it is also another situation where give me, you know, where give me the perfect. Opportunity to show the eye them where another manifestation of what me saying at this program here, yeah, right through coming up to this pine. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, man, and just remember to like, share, and subscribe. Yes, man, and join. Yes, become a member of the channel or become a Patreon today. Yeah, man, all the perks involving in that. So as usual, this section of the program is brought to you by Vicebox Studios, the voice of a nation. And Madvert Multimedia, if it's not Madvert, it's not an advert. And you know, Rebel 13 Collections, yes man. The finest in custom design clothing and everything printing except fingerprinting, yes. Also brought to you by... Bunks about kids party rentals. When you want to customize and experience your child. Or just patrons in general that they will never forget. Don't bunks go all about. Bunks about. Yeah man, it's at bunks about for the finest in a kids party rentals. Everything party related. Yeah man, a bunks about. Call them now. 876. 404-1714 It is also brought to you by Renaissance Immigration The toughest thing by immigration in Canada Call them now 437-703-1147 To eat And the consultation is absolutely free And Renaissance, if I tell you say, If you're in America and want similar services Yeah man, the toughest thing is Louis La Remember say, it's a next set of immigration people I tell you that Yes indeed, uh, Louis Law Professional Association They are the people to reach out to for any kind of immigration issues in America they deal with visa, citizenship and removal of all conditions yeah man, even waivers and them things they are not a lot of matters related to immigration call them now 954-530-1717 for access immigration heaven, we are telling that in the meantime Boy, me I tell you, well, me I, hey, some serious things are going on, you know, with, with this Russian invasion, you know, Rasta, boy, I tell you. Serious indeed? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's going to get worse before it gets better. Indeed. Me I tell the ones that I know, say, boy, I don't have nothing new to tell the idea, man. There is nothing new under the sun. The subject, they might change, but I'm going to be consistent with where I cause the problem, them. You just know that. 
There is no different set of rules for no level of life, Rasta. Conflict between two countries no different from a conflict between two people. Yeah, man, or have any different kind of motives for, for, for that conflict. Then all of the psychological factors when we outline on this program, yeah, yeah man. And I go and name a few of them we play out in this conflict yeah, as we go along, Rasta. Alright, bear in mind, so when you know you say America or Western or Russia and them things, the Rasta is not a generalization, you understand? These words are not meant to be a blanket statement, yeah, man. So, yeah, alright. Most people read the headline and make up the story themselves. <laughs> the rough be a tell you, Rasta. Is that what you think uh, most people are doing? Brother. What do you mean if I that them do? What do you mean if I that most people are do? I see many people just attack, attack and just have to say something. They cannot be left out of to say something or they have something to say. Is that so? Yeah man, they see people are like Jamaica here. Yeah. They don't all up at the Russian embassy. A protest and I say stop the war. How them don't want a Russian in them country. I remember, you know, we are talking about Jamaica. Where the most murderous and violent song get the most support. The same people, them, we say, for left artists, loud artists, oh, harmless thing, them, I do. Music are just fun. And look on the hypocrisy now, what are you protesting against? Is the very thing we want to celebrate in this music. We want to give you no approval and put in a signature upon. A boy, this, my boy, dead gun shot in a head and drive past and one bag of this, that, that. I eat this, we want to say harmless, you know. You know, look upon, you know, this warrior between Russia and Ukraine in a real life, this. And the thing is, most people now go ever understand where them think them understand because what? most people have a start for your so attitude towards everything. But they're entitled to their opinions, though, my brother. Yeah, man. Me no, yes, of course. But them have some strong opinion for everything, and those opinions are illusion, and them don't know. You think so? What you mean? What you mean? Because them don't realize that these opinions be like a pure guess and speculation. Because them don't have no time for look into the details. We truly inform them about where they look upon. Them see the headline and, and, and make up the story instead of read it. Everything where them think them know about even me. I make them make it up. And if me even tell them see how it go, them, and if me even tell them see how it go, them won't kill me. Bad from ego. We can't see reality if I tell you that. So anyway, what really happened is the question where, where most people are asked. And don't really want to answer for it. And don't know. Because it's going to go against the not-so-educated guess what them believe is true. But purple people is not most people, so you wanna know. But, my brother. Yeah. Hold, hold on, hold on. We ask it. Why again are most people so misinformed and find it so difficult to get informed, my All brother? Right. All right. Uh, let's what say I... the average person are you then, Pastor. In which you fit the rule perfectly so far. But watch I know, that, that beside the point. To keep up with way where you consider as reality, which is a fast-paced thing. Your mind program you for require a summary of everything. It is why you tend to get bored when you have to confront the details where it takes to truly understand anything. That's why I'm, when, when a man I explain something and it's it long, you get bored easy unless you're truly interested in it. Otherwise, your interests are going to stay with keeping up with the, with the fast-paced reality. That's why the truth is something you really have to bear with. If you truly find it out. So you are, bear with me now. If you want the answer to this question, I will not ask you. You where it come from, you know. Like me, I said on this program from day one. It's the West cause the whole of the problem them, where they are condemn. That's, that's so much rubbish. A, a wait, Putin wait. is a, hold on, hold on. Putin is a, is a maniac that is a, that is a threat to peace and stability all over this world. And I, and, 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 wait, wait, hold on, man. what I believe in, and, and I'm keeping it. Bridging, the whole of them are the same thing. You just say what everybody else has say. Where you see a Guania so is a thing when you imperialism. As a matter of fact, the word of the day is imperialism. It means a policy of extending a country's power through diplomacy or military force. Let me show you it in this case, you know. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, a.k.a. NATO. Yeah, man, what that NATO mean, the word, the acronym NATO. For those who don't know, it is an intergovernmental military alliance between 28 European countries and two North American countries. Yeah, man, they established it after World War II. Yes. So in other words, no, it's, it's, it's a coalition of countries coming together 
for merge the military and practice Western ideals, our beliefs, aka democracy. So you're again going to come and sit here and say that what they're doing is not democracy, my brother? Yeah, man, it is the total opposite. Let me tell you, let me tell you already, democracy is just a different form of dictatorship. Rasta, where you rule or control people through the distribution of confusion. Because a man without direction is a slave to indecision. Who was told by democracy so if you have everything one time. And he will never escape the plantation because he do have a map of where he's going. Hey, the West coming like that mixed up person the way all we know. Come round here, come kin teeth and chat people with you. And go back go chat you with the people then. And by the time them left everybody in a war, we'll have seen them. So them go people country, go stir up people and make them rise against discipline. And I saw them topple governments and install be a puppet government with Western ideals. Democracy is really just a good idea, but this one above the other outlook where the average human, not just Western people, have past success, make it impossible to achieve it. And you believe what you're saying right now? Yeah, man! Them run up and down around the world go push this so-called democracy by force when them claim say democracy means freedom to choose your own way. Yet no one is given the option to refuse it. And the wickedest thing this may ever see in their life. What's so wicked about that, my brother? If a, if a man do have the option to refuse it. And if he refuse it, he pay the price. No dictatorship that. Anyway, don't stray from the point. Get to the point of uh, what happened, what's happening here with Russia and Ukraine. Uh, yes. From 1991, the Soviet Union, I'm sure that's a Russia then, opposed the NATO idea. Where the West are walk around a Calic country, you understand? At the time, it never too bad of them because no country is a part of them border. Never join it yet. But the problem started in a thing we named the Pucaris Summit in a April 2008. Where them unknown said Georgia and Ukraine want join NATO. And Putin said, why? Watch a man, hey. You know, they want that, you know. That can't go on because it's a direct threat to Russian security. So the man invaded Georgia in a 2008 because them start to talk tough because them feel that the West are going to back them. And up to today, day, them still don't recover from that. So fast forward you now to November 2013. Yeah, man, the then Ukrainian leader named Yanukovych start lost off of the EU, I mean, should I say the European Union, or that, yes, EU, EU media. I want to join the West. And Russia said, boy, how are you deal with? And Russia said, no, nah, man, and, and, and they didn't even willing to do a deal with, with the EU and Ukraine together. Rasta, yeah, man, and, and the IMF, for a peaceful solution, but what now? He's not going to make them go to the table like him, no, did he? So him half of Ukraine, a deal, Rasta, where was too good to refuse. So Yanukovych now got turn down the, the, the EU and the Ukraine and them lick out wicked. A long as short, him kill a portion of them within a couple days. And by the time February 22nd, 2014, forward, them get him out in a coup and him have to run away over Russia. Yeah, man, the Ukraine and them, them prime strategic real estate. Them can't make the waste of it. Look on the meanness in this situation and now. Meanness, yeah, man. Look how westernized people then, yeah man, look how western people quick for call people tyrant and murderer and uncivilized and maniac. When they do the same thing as the people them a cause. What you getting at? A way I say, America then, for example. Have a thing we name the Monroe Doctrine, yeah man, research that for the item self. And it states clearly. Say the Western Hemisphere of Fidem Backyard Rasta and no one from any kind of distant region is allowed to move military forces in a Fidem Backyard. Remember how America lose them shit when the Soviets or the Russian them then put missile over Cuba. Regin, let me ask you something. You think a Aki and Salfish make America and China come to Jamaica and fight over Goat Island with the Bridgin? I don't see what you're getting at. Oh, you mean? And because they never want China possibly put nuclear out there and paint it from Florida. If that happened, them Nago can control or bully China. But when a next man have those same fears or concern, the West don't fool. And what you think them would have said if a man intend to set up a Navy base in Mexico? 
But my brother, everyone is saying, and I must agree. What are they? Well, well, Where are they? Uh, uh, that, that Putin's behavior proves emphatically that um, NATO was right in considering Ukraine and Georgia for being a part of NATO. And that's my view, and I'm sticking to it. Because Putin is a maniac that seems hell-bent on putting the world's population on antidepressants. The way I say, the so-called modern 21st century, civilized American, were more deluded than the analog people of the 50s and 60s. For the mindset made the problem worse. We are talking about some serious snowflakes, breakable, very spongy kind of people who believe in unicorn while killing horses by the dozen a them delusional enough to go buy a house next door them enemy and set up some nuclear on a back a pint over the man yard I expect say the man to come over in the evening a, a kin teeth and I say welcome to the neighborhood and, and, and bring pudding I know them are act shock to see the war where the man threatened for over 14 years if them ever think to come next door him come have the potential to do something like that Majority of these so-called modern Americans totally out of touch with reality. Them systematically narcissistic and delusional than previous generations, me I tell you. Them is just pure good and civilized and everybody else is unclean, evil, uncivilized and, and primitive. Uh, uh, my brother, I, I just don't believe that the average uh, uh, 21st century American is, is, is delusional. I, I don't... All right, you can disagree if you want, brethren. But what am I going to do? All right, don't play a clip, you know, Rasta. I will show you. This person here, this is a female, this is a person where she joined the U.S. Army. And know that them put her up on guard. This is boy, they think you're going in this Ukraine, Russia thing, you Rasta. Here where she think, no, she said she never sign up with this. Here goes. I was just on live this morning. And of course, we all know uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. But in this TikTok, like, of course, you know, okay, I'm in uniform, everybody knows what's going on. So, of course, everybody coming in with the Ukraine, Russia, and all of that, you know, comments or whatever, asking questions. And I'm just like, I'm not here for that. I'm not addressing any of that. But then, like, it's just like, this is my first term. And, like, it's like, y'all, like, what makes me so mad is, like, y'all are so insensitive. Nobody thinks this is going to happen. But, like, civilians, y'all get to go home. Y'all get to go to y'all families y'all gotta work y'all know what y'all life is gonna be my life is so unpredictable i could be deployed within the next few days like i really just like i didn't come into the army for this and it's just it really like it kind of it hurts me like and i don't i don't really like to let stuff affect me but this is affecting me because this is my life life, life. You're going to join an army and, and, and in your mind you know sign up for war <laughs> then, then what is that no delusion that then our Prime Minister you know, will come out, come condemn this, this invasion you know, the same thing he might do the maroon them if, you, if, if we are to be fear. What you mean? What you mean? You know, the same thing he might do them with the cockpit country. Why you don't condemn the Chinese economic invasion in Jamaica? If you don't know what you are do, you are going to fastly become everybody's favorite comedian, brethren, I tell you. But no, hey, let me tell you something, man. I sympathize with your brethren. It must hard. It have a rough to govern a nation where 95% of people are idiots. Come go in, brethren, man. I tell you, 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 you need to take a break, man. Put, your, put up your foot. Carry out Juliet. Go up on vacation, brethren. Do something. We have whole heap of things when need your attention, brethren, man. I tell you that. Dance a yard before you dance abroad. America condemn the India out. Yeah, man. I don't remember how much million Indian with them kill off in them land. How much million African with them kidnap and used to industrialize this capture land by force. If America genuinely feels that Putin is a madman or a tyrant, then you know, alright. If we have to be rational then, let's say them, them is right. You understand? Let's say them is right about, yes, the man is a madman with a diminished sense of danger. We make him reckless. You really have a pressure a madman with, a, with, with nuclear capability to become desperate with him on on a nuclear button bridging. I think you're talking nonsense, man. That's a rubbish. If, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If what 
Russia is accusing you of then the West then. Let's say the whole entire West. The Western, yes. Let us just say Russia accuse you of something where you're not guilty of. Yes, you don't have no kind of yes, Ukraine is not of any kind of strategic interest or, or is of any importance to the item then. Meaning say you don't intend to set up no missile or anything like that in a, in, in a Russia backyard. Like where Putin of fears it might happen. Then the question now become why you would have risk a nuclear war with, 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 with Russia over a country that is not a vital strategic interest. Which means uh, then you don't have any ulterior motive or no deceitful intentions as to why you would have risk a, a, a nuclear war with Russia. And what could have so important for make you willing to take this risk? It can't be that the item just want to protect an innocent country that, that is under attack. If so, you know, that stopped the, the Rwandan genocide in 1994. And many other fuckery want to turn a blind eye to over the years, Bukawa. Nothing no in night for no. Hey, America, revelation I talk about when you talk about the whore, the great whore. Mother of all that, see, man that sits on many waters. Why the hell would you say that? In Beijing, no, so them go to work. No, the word them style that. If a man have nothing, them not fuck with him. You know, so the West go to work. Look what I go on Ethiopia right now, and them no look down there. Bridging, you have to look out to your eye and see what I go on. Putin don't want the Ukraine, you know. No, he just want to destroy it so the West now have no use for it. Why you think NATO are the West now sending the military? And because the Ukraine is now useless to them, Bridging. Unattractive wars have no use to a pimp. No matter how them are going to say, them never did going to use Ukraine for all a nuclear gun to Putin's head. So again, don't listen to people say, watch what them do, and you know, the truth there. Every kind of conflict where you can ever think of, every war on every level, caused by the same thing, Rasta, that thing we call meanness, where you only see your reality. That's it. Nobody else's reality no exists. And of course, everyone where in this conflict, I go always say, Me no stay at all, I no tell me stay. But them not aware of where the real problem there in a them subconscious. When most of we make up that subconscious mind, see a thing or a person is a particular way. Bridget, let me tell you something, man. A ras to see it a next way. No matter how we want things, so we know it, we are good people. Really? Yeah, man, Bridget. Now, what I say? Look on, for example, then, how even the Western media cover the war despite how and bias and, and fear them them think them in. Many of them real character is revealed upon live TV because the emotional intensity of the situation make them subconscious beliefs override the political correctness aka the lie where them train for live daily. These news clips we may go play you now are some live example of the behavior when we observe and start study from your 13 and come write a book named Planet Hurt and do a soon to be released podcast named The Rebellious Truth. But I'm going to start with a clip from NBC News. Listen, listen to this. These are not refugees from Syria. These are Christians, they're whites, they're, um, they're very similar. She actually, did I go say? Similar to us, as in as in white skin and, and blue eye. All right, our next clip. CBS. You know, like Iraq or Afghanistan, this is a relatively civilized, uh, relatively European uh, city where you wouldn't expect that or hope that it's going to happen. The man, main concern is not that human being has suffered and are dead all about the place with them tongue long out, you know. Him just in a shock about where him expect suffering and hardship to look like. Why is that you think? I like me, I say from day one. And because we only see labels, not human, to keep up with the fast paced reality, what we call civilization. The human mind summarizes everything in a quick story and give them a label and put them in a box. And we see them according to that small summary or quick story then. And unrealistically expect them to be only that. So now the reflex action of such a mind are going to always be to deal with reality according to these unconscious biases we make out a total illusion they know that for example Bridget make them can't acknowledge Eminem as the greatest rapper of all time why is that uh, though my brother because rap is black music not human music if it is outside of that framework then there's something else Bridget read planet earth 
But me I tell you, that clip is serious. The man, the man, subconscious mind make up. The Afghan and Iraq and them kind of places they uncivilized and therefore irresponsible and incapable of self-governance and therefore undeserving of respect. So them deserve, yeah man, them deserve to get this place and, and, and to turn refugee. Here is one, yeah, this is a BBC. It's really emotional for me because I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being killed. The man says it's very emotional for me because him see, him, him see blonde hair and blue eyes I get killed. Hey, I'm not even going to say nothing. This last one I know is not from the West. So it proved like me I say. So this is a human condition, Rasta. And it show how the view of the average person have of reality make democracy impossible. This is Al Jazeera in you know, a Here go. What's compelling is just looking at them, the way they're dressed. These are prosperous I'm loath to use the expression. These are prosperous middle class people. These are not obviously refugees trying to get away from areas in the Middle East that are still in a big state of war. These are not people trying to get away from areas in North Africa. They look like any European family that you would live next door to. The man say, the man say them don't look. Like refugees, Rasta, they look like decent people. Bridging, we are refugee, look like. Now, some unfortunate or unexpected situation create refugee. We never know the refugees are somewhere ready make where we just build and put on. I'm beginning to think you're right, my brother. Yeah, man, Bridging, them, them see labels, Bridging, them not see human, them not see past that. I see human, Bridging, and that is the biggest part. Have the problem with communication for any level. The man say these are prosperous middle class people who are not obviously refugee. I got the hey. Why, hey, watch your man. And watch her now. This is me, me, me read something where the Bulgarian Prime Minister actually say no bridging. This are not here say. You understand? The man said these people are intelligent. They are educated. This is not the refugee way we have been used to. He said that. Yeah, man, Bridgin! The man has a refugee, you know, feed them white people here. Yeah. Hey, Bridgin, may I tell you something, man? It's a wicked scenario, this thing, yeah, man. They make up their mind which other country are people uncivilized, you know, Rasta, and deserve certain treatment. And the same thing make you see all Apple and the whole of them, Rasta, end you know, up and stand up for Ukraine and never stand up for Africa or any other country we come under certain duress. Because them have these unconscious biases, Bridgin, may I tell you that. And these unconscious bias end up in a curriculum, Rasta. End up in a laws. End up from the foundation of the very system. Where them create for other people living a Bridgin. The same people them. Where them look upon a certain kind of way as less. That is why the word systemic. Come up concerning racism and them thing, the Rasta. And it's even worse, Rasta, with this thing. And classism. Racism, a baby to the monster, they may I tell you that. Subconscious biases, you say? Yes, Bridget. Everything where people believe from them born becomes subconscious. You know the way, like me always say. When you switch on the light, all when you know the light gone. It is why you must listen where people say consciously, Bridget. Just love them and watch them. If you want to know where them truly believe, watch them action. Because where them truly believe, I'm going to come out in them unconscious words or action. May I tell you that? That's so true. And I'm starting to believe that now. Yeah, man, now this may I tell Purple Nation from day one, Bridget. This is how it go. The average person make up their mind to see you one particular way. And everything about you is measured against this unflexible, non-negotiable decision. To see you that way there, may I tell you that? Means that they're not willing to change or adjust how they see you according to new information where even my country dick. Oh, them see you. This, again, is what wrong with communication, brethren. And why it is very necessary to stop try to convince some people to see things your way. Because they're not even conscious of them action. And even when they become aware, remember, so they don't show the idea already, you know. So they program by them ego for real label. The same thing with them are condemning as somebody else. Whenever them have to do those same kind of thing. In other words, them eat two whole of bread, man. Yeah, man. Two whole of bread, them slap away. Because what? Them hungry. And call you greedy because you eat four slices. In the meantime. Yeah, you know. A truth and reality and a dream time. Go and go tell them, say, you're a rasta around the world, a curly locks around the world. If you know that, 
Curly locks, voice box, nigga. Sprague Ben said that. Another week, another crisis, another headline. Yeah, man, another thing for everybody to talk about and then. Don't see us about it next week. Just a look for the next item of news to be entertained. Bye. Yeah, man, me see. A portion of people, yeah, man, I make me a joker for this crisis, yeah. When in reality, this thing is not a laughing matter. You know, we hear the Bible say, for lack of knowledge, the people perish. It's rough, me I tell you. Because much too often, a we who understand have to bear the burden of them ignorant. This song you know is a reflection of my own life. I know it did hard to get most people to overstand my vision. And the we just go to solution instead of dwell on problem. Irritate them because they want to bother them for bother me. And by vision, I me mean my me ability to see objective reality and understand it. So that means never fight that show you probably like, probably like 12. So. Hey, me I tell you, rough rasta, me I tell you, say. They make up their mind for see me the worst way. And use the idea of me with them creating of them own mind for measure everything we me do. Because my confidence and faith was a constant reminder of everything with them did afraid for do. I go through time when we beg God to go sleep and awake. The way of the pressure did wicked. But I learned something. God always take a hostage. And God terms us always simply for just rise up and take on the struggle. If you want to see this hostage up past the worst. The first hostage was Zion. And now the next one is Isaiah. Whose, whose birth date it is today by the way. Big up Conroy Williams and everyone. Yes, everyone else. Who born today. I was born on this day. Mark saved me the blessing. Dirty shoulder for lean pan. And that go vice versa too. Nothing wouldn't matter in that moment, you're saying, my brother. Yeah, man, all of the vanity and all of the status and things that we make divide we are go meaningless. And you are going to say the only thing that is real is what you're left with when everything else disappears. Remember, me tell you that. And what you're left with now is a self that is now forced to realize. That it has never been human in the way nature, I should have said, God intended. Remember me showing you, you know, in a episode 5, about how fast feminism would have done if we end up back in the 20s with horse and buggy. You remember that? All of the values of the whole land pan, what we think make we important, is a lie. A dolly house we are playing. Because we want to buck up in a real life tragedy where we now have no control over. A death so we get to see so we are baby. Who attack tough when everything's safe. Mommy cook dinner left and snacks in the cupboard. If a nuclear button press right now, anyone will leave it out and go learn, say boy, everything with them did think. Put them above others is an illusion. That's so true. Yeah, man, nobody no member, no activist, racist, feminist, sexist, elitist. All is done. The one is left, man, and that life preservation is, and that alone every one ton. Because what you know? So them say women and children in Ukraine are now allowed to leave and that men between the age of 18 to 61 have to stand up and fight. Oh yes, I saw that. Yeah man, them can't go nowhere. So tell me something. Mm-hmm, what's that? Where the feminist group them there, yeah man, we are fight for equality. Where them there? Why, why, why them not come fight for make the woman them stay? Not saying that them for stay the rest of them. Why we not see them? No discrimination that. No, so them a say woman weak then, according to these modern feminists. Anything that a man can do, we can do it better. Watch a man, at them, at them tough moments there, determine if somebody mean what them say. Remember me tell you that. And when AC in a room and people cock up and foot a rub. Why do I feel so compelled to agree with you today? Because a true virgin, I tell you that when people see it, them welcome illusion and start the whole dolly house thing again. Because remember when Corona just dropped, you know, every man get back the woman rasta. And when them figure out, say, boy, this is a case of a really bad cold. We have a 90 odd percent survival rate. Well, them, them get back to normal. Dally house again. And fuck pan. Turn on back. So my brother, you're saying that it's in these moments of tragedy that um, one knows if they mean what they're saying, you say? Yeah, man, because, all right, what what, what you know? Look on the girl now, named Solel, yeah man, or something like that, yeah. Ooh, when the Jamaican government, yeah man, did warn the student, them are Ukraine, say, come home, because something might jump off, you know. Yeah. I should jump on Twitter at the same time, man, and this up Jamaica. And I quote, you know, watch, watch it quote, man. it's a fair word, not mine, you know. When people ask if I'll be going back to Jamaica after I finish my study, 
I look at them like this. And of course, you know, there's an how to put a meme with, 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 with a what you're talking about, Willis type of expression. Yeah, man. A funny expression. There's two more tweets, what shall I say? Yeah, man, the, the, the first one of that say. Believe you, Jamaica is a suffocation country. And it appears now, so I don't know if the, the, the one after that one, you know, is because the people them know, the Jamaican patriots, them start done her. So that the one they look like a response now, where she go say, I have too much going on to focus on this. But one thing for certain and two things for sure, that I'll do nothing for Jamaica in the future. And you know that means nothing except dance to a song where get a Grammy and, and, and you know your full colors so people can see so you're Jamaican them time there. The long and short of this thing you know is that it is alleged so when the first set of bomb them start drop and she that you know one voice note will go viral. A ball! So she won't go home, she won't reach a Jamaica. No, all I cuss and you hold is them. And I say, where the plane there? Where you go on your son? And the, and the thing when we want, my fellow Jamaicans, them know Rasta. Yes, Jamaica is a fuck up place. It have its ways and it have its disorganizations and the things that we have got through. But learn something. Fuckery, they everywhere and it come in at all farms. You understand? Even if you find a good place, you find say, bad things happen. Just make up your mind to deal with it. Accept it and find a way around it. I saw it work. There is no constant heaven in, in, in this place. Hell always they round the corner wait for interrupt it. That's so true. Yeah man, just stop try if you just find that one place where nothing else will ever go wrong that I meet. You have to just go and choose your hell them wisely and deal with them. Why it's sad. <laughs> Me I tell you Rasta. People really do understand reality, may I tell you that. So watch I know, look on the twin reality I play out in this thing, I know where. Eh? You can't know the lie different from the truth, Rasta, because them both look alike. And you have to go deep to tell them apart. And you know the average person in this fast paced reality, you not know, set up for that, Rasta. Them no go them no go deep, man. Everything are just one thing. And the twin them, yeah man. So reality are the same. I saw them deal with reality. So America, you know, I remember again, you know, when we say, when, when we, when we say America, we mean mainly the government, you understand? This don't reflect the people in general. So yeah, America just do what most people do with literal twin. With the two of them, it's always equally credited or punished for the actions of just one of them. So in this case now, are the twin them name the Russian government and the people in general. So you know, she so say in this case you now, America just say right now, are the twin them, you know, and by twin them, you mean the Russian government and the people in general. And them just drop some rotted sanctions. And everyone end up a so far for them government action. Really? Yeah, man, you know, so America deal with Russia, wicked Rasta, them expel them from every kind of sport. From soccer to race car driving. Everything when name Russian cut off. Me I tell you Rasta, me yes, right now nobody not even want vice for the producer when name so. You say my plan for change him name to Little Red Rat. It's serious. But watch I know. America them and the whole West. Say Putin is a dictator. And how him, him, him control the media. And how the Russian people don't have any freedom. And claim say them better. Them the West is better than these despotic regimes. Yeah man. Yet, them are do the same things to these people. By make them suffer wicked for the actions of a man who many of them don't even must agree with. Them should have just pressure the Russian billionaires, aka the oligarchs, yeah man. Who them say have close ties with, with, with Putin and therefore influence over him action. And just left average people out of this thing, yeah. Yes, they are putting some serious pressure on these oligarchs. I'm, I'm watching. Yeah man, I see it come back down to me that say no. No matter how them that talk tough and I say, boy, we are back Putin and we have money and oh, no guy and no this and no that man. When the money not trouble, a problem. They no member the friendship. When them think about the poor life, we are not them door and I beg for come in. So right now it is quite possible that so them are going to kill him or find some other way to neutralize him. So that is what America do by, by yeah. Them just cut off the money man and them know they are dead so you know how it's all. Look seriously. Yes, purple people, look seriously upon this warrior and look upon the devastation with the idea of success with the average human being have. Look upon the devastation with it cause. 
Also, everybody from both sides of this and everywhere, a fight for the next person or group. Look up to them. Ruff, this is what happened. When everything where you believe lead to you trying to have ownership instead of partnership in anything at all. Look and observe yourself in this conflict. And for everybody will see every kind of problem including this and obsessed with figuring it out. Just so them can prove that them smart. I better want to be still and humble yourself. Because again, nothing at all no as simple as you feel to them is. No telling you again the truth and the lie of everything I run concurrently means that them happen at the same time. Every possible scenario is happening all at once. And because the average person program to keep up with the fast paced reality, nothing can miss them. They don't have the time to slow down and find out what is true or what is the difference between these twins. They always end up with a who really knows kind of attitude towards everything. So them can go unite and fight against any kind of problem. Because again, them have no time to truly find out what is the problem. And what you mean? Bridging, a whole heap of go on here, so you know. A whole heap of go on here, so many are speculate about that is very possible. But anyhow, we can truly say so we fully understand it. None of we ever sit down with Putin, Zelensky, or anyone from the Western governments. No, now we have a video of how everything play out in a real life. We have a play-by-play video from both sides. We can tell we say yes, or this happened. If the answer is no, then really and truly, everything where we have strong opinions of is our own creation. As a little youth, I read the Bible from an early age, me used to ask, boy, is it wise to make a God and worship it? The answer we may always come up with is no. But at this we are though, when we create our own opinions of things where we, where we don't truly have all of the, have the full information for and don't allow any kind of new information to counteract or contradict it. So what we do in a case like this? Stop look outside for the solution because everything that is evil or fuck up about America or Russia for example where you are used to say you find all that is wrong with the world is a part of you. So you fix evil in the world. Fix it in yourself. It is up to you to face the evil in yourself and try with all of your might to regulate it. Evil is not something we are, we are observing in the world in Adan. It is a mirror of the same conflict between good and evil in our own self. This and every other war is no different. It's a mirror you are looking at and a curse where you see and think of somebody else. Unless you accept the reality, say so war steer back on you. Is a reflection of your own potential. If you see it as just pure evil and don't decide to do nothing about it except just cuss. Instead of change what you not like in yourself. You could have cussed the mirror till God come. Nothing not do the mirror. You're just fucking ugly. Hey! In the meantime, 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 in between time. Time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. Time. Yes, Curly Locks the Vice back. 